제가 이, 지금 이, 이 자리에서 이 얘기를 하고 있, 있는 것도 사실은 그 뭐, 뭔가 모를 오묘한 감정이 들거든요. 왜냐하면 이, 이, 이 얘기가 이 얘기는 지금 와서 촬영하시는 것도 그렇고 이, 만약에 이 영상을 누군가 본다고 한다면은 사실은 이게 대한민국이라는 이제 나라와 이제 그 나라에 속한 국민의 입장에서는 좋은 얘기가 아니기 때문에. I thought this was a um, well-done piece. I thought it had a lot of um, historical backdrop and a, and a very educated approach that allowed um, an audience who was unfamiliar with the subject to really understand the complexities of it. I think um, it's easy to uh, stereotype or uh, misunderstand sort of dynamics that contribute to uh, the cultural realities of that um, practice and how that ends up going on. But I thought the piece really had a great uh, sense of um, a big picture approach to um, attacking the issue and understanding the core of the problem and how um, the current organization was trying to um, affect it. I think obviously in America, we don't have that same type of um, uh, relationship to dogs, obviously, but I thought the piece uh, sort of reflected uh, um, the sense of empathy um, and taking care of the dogs and also a, a sense of understanding of uh, the, the cultural uh, dynamic that contributes to um, the situation that I thought uh, made it um, a, a fair and a very educational um, reflection of the, of the uh, dynamic. does an excellent job of exploring this unfortunate situation of dog breeding for consumption in South Korea and examining the history behind it so we understand how it got to such a tumultuous point that it is currently at. It is wonderful, of course, to see citizens actively objecting to this barbaric treatment. But of course, the real issue lies uh, so much in law enforcement's inability to enforce laws that are already on the books. So this gives a really deep dive into this situation, gives us an unsettling front row view at what is going on and stays with you long after for sure. Wow, yeah, this was really tough to watch. Um, I did have to fast forward through some of the scenes with just a faster pace. I still got the um, gist of what they were saying in those scenes, but it was really hard to watch. I'm glad there was a, a warning in the beginning um, because that is very hard to see. Some of these, you know, Visuals and description of what was happening made me sick to my stomach. So um, very well done. It's just really hard to watch that kind of thing when you're used to an animal, be animal being a pet. Um, and this is what they're doing still in South Korea. Um, I like that it was, you know, not just pointing fingers at how bad these people were, but actually... Also saying that a lot of these people really loved, started off loving anim these animals as pets and, or, you know, that they started off really loving dogs. And I like the history of where it started, that these people were basically desperate to make money and desperate to have food. So I like the, that it was all inclusive of all of that and not just, you know, pointing a finger at how bad this is, which it is, but. Um, and how they said animal, animal protection laws are not properly enforced. Um, but it, it was hard to watch. Um, it was well put together. I like how he talks about being an ethical society. And I like the, the dog shelter run where they, you know, rescue these dogs and put them up for adoption. So great to see all of the different angles of it. And um just very interesting. It's pretty important, like historically, it's pretty eye-opening to hear the story, like how how it's been like in Korea to have like dog like eating habits and how they want to change or want to erase like this uh, bad reputation like in the country. So this is well performed in, informed for any audiences and also there's some kind of like like non-judgmental like tone in the short it's pretty like it's pretty straightforward it's pretty objective and it's pretty good to hear like this story like especially for people who never been in korea or never known about this story in the country before too so it's interesting it's very helpful
to understand the situation and insightful at the same time. I really, really appreciated this because of the kind of approach that they took to it. Even in the very beginning, he was like, I'm, you know, hesitant to, you know, record or share my, my perspective because I don't want to paint like the entire country to get painted in like one certain light. And I thought that was an interesting point to bring up, especially with the subject matter that they were talking about, because I feel like, especially in this day and age of kind of social media and the internet, when there's like this concept of like cancel culture and when something that like to an outsider's perspective that has a lot to do with culture and that country and history and things like that when something like that like comes to light essentially or gets you know gets brought up in media or you know any of these kinds of things there I feel like there's a lot of it that just automatically paints the that entire country or that entire place of like it just gets written off um and you don't necessarily hear about the culture you don't necessarily hear about the history behind kind of even why it came to be you don't get any of that because I feel like people kind of make these snap minute like snap decisions and I appreciated this because it gave more than that it was it wasn't just hey this is a reality of this culture this is what we're trying to change this is, you know, why we think it's bad or anything like that. It actually went and actually explained kind of like the history, the laws, so that people that don't live in that country, people that, you know, aren't raised in that environment can try to understand the full scope of it and the full um, range of the issue. The, the main subject here is animal abuse. And uh, we know that animal abuse is a thing and is still very common and it happens everywhere in the world, in any single part of the world. And it's difficult to fight uh, um, these beasts because animal abuse really is a beast that should be eradicated. Um, but the film really gives a voice to these animals and at the same time gives a voice to all the people that are fighting uh, against animal abuse and they keep um, trying every day to free animals from these cages and from the terrible situations they end up in. Uh, uh, situation uh, created by humans, uh, as usual.